particular episode is about vaccines and pregnancy. It's weird. That's why we have your belly here. Only <laughs> a big bowl of nachos. <laughs> Are there any vaccines that I need during my pregnancy? There's typically two vaccines that pregnant women need throughout their pregnancy, and that's the influenza vaccine and the Tdap vaccine, which has tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis. If you were to catch the flu while you were pregnant, it can cause complications with your baby, and it can also lead to a premature delivery. While you're pregnant, while it's also important for you to get the Tdap vaccine, we also want to make sure that any other family members or caregivers that are going to be around your newborn a lot also receive their Tdap vaccine. It's recommended to get that every 10 years. So if it's been around 10 years that anybody in your family has had their shot, we want to make sure that they also have an updated one. For you as the pregnant mom, Tdap vaccine is given every pregnancy, no matter how long it's been since your last pregnancy, but everybody else, about 10 years, we wanna make sure that those are done. When do I need these vaccines during my pregnancy? For the flu vaccine, we recommend just getting that at any time during the flu season while you are pregnant. It doesn't really matter which trimester you're in, just as long as it's the flu season. For the Tdap vaccine, ideally we want you to get it between 27 and 36 weeks of pregnancy, and that just gives your body enough time to make those antibodies so that your baby has some protection when they're born. What are the side effects of me receiving these vaccines? With these vaccines, the side effects are pretty typical of most injectable vaccinations. It's possible that your arm might be sore. It's possible to get like a low grade fever. You might just be a little more tired for a couple of days and your body might be sore. If you get any of that, it doesn't typically last longer than about a day or two. You just wanna make sure that you move that arm around really good. Stay hydrated, drink lots of water, and if you need to, Tylenol is fine to take if that's something that you're normally allowed to take. That's good to know. And what about, is this safe for my baby? These vaccines, like I said, are recommended for most pregnant women during pregnancy and have definitely been tested to make sure that not only are they safe for baby, but they also provide that protection for baby once they're born in those first few months of life. I'm nearing the end of my pregnancy. Is it still safe for me to have these vaccines? If you hadn't gotten the vaccines, the flu and the Tdap, before that 36 weeks mark, which is ideal to make sure that we have the antibodies in your body to give baby some protection when they're born, we still recommend that you just get them as soon as you can to provide some protection for your newborn. Can I get them at the same time? That's totally not a problem. Those vaccines are safe to get together. Sometimes we just do one in each arm and you will be good to go. So will my baby receive vaccines as a newborn? When the baby is in the hospital, there is one vaccine that they usually get pretty soon after they're born, and that is the hepatitis B vaccine. The other vaccines that you received will keep them well covered until about those two-month shots when they start their usual childhood immunizations. Well, thank you for answering all my questions. I really appreciate you. Of course. I hope you have a smooth rest of your pregnancy and that everything goes really well for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for your questions, everybody. We look forward to seeing you again on our next episode of Ask Your Neighborhood Nurse.